right. How many you got on your side? Because I only got two left. I got uh, four or five. Here, pass me a couple. Yep, one second here. You open this one up because it's nice and simple. Looks like it's just a letter. Hmm. Greetings from Pennsylvania. My name is Carolyn Mercantati, Tanti, Mer Mercatanti, and I am a huge fan of your show. When I saw that Pennsylvania sent you tourism guides in your second unboxing video, I couldn't keep from cracking up, and I can safely say that they will continue to send you stuff since once they get their hands on your address, you can never escape their grasp. <laughs> I always look forward to watching your videos on Mondays. You are my favorite content producer on the internet uh, as a whole. I love your snarky and frank style of comedy, how informative the videos can be, as well as the references to old memes and past jokes. Thank you. <laughs> I run old memes and jokes into the ground and then bury them some more. Yep. <laughs> my favorite thing about them are your storylines, and I get so excited when I see the little fire icon in the top right corner of the title card. Just goes to show that you don't need flashy effects or giant budgets to make engaging stories. Hopefully. You may not be as popular as the Bee Gees, but you're number one for me. Aww. Aww. I want to send you some fan art I drew to show how much I appreciate your hard work and how much I adore your show. Also, congratulations on your engagement and moving into your new house. I couldn't be happier for you and Vega. I'm sure you two will make a happy life together. I love this fan art, by the way. Me too. It's so chibi and cute. Yep. I do have a rather silly question about your storyline, so don't mind asking. What are the living arrangements within Linkara's house? Linkara keeps saying how he gets annoyed with people go coming and going without a word, but we see Harvey Finewise bringing in the luggage at the beginning of the King of Worms arc, so does he crash on the green futon when Linkara isn't ranting on it, or does he live <laughs> there? And where does that leave 90s Kid? Or the Ninja Style Dancer? Or Snow? Flame. Do they all chill out on Comicron 1 with Linksano? And with Comicron 1 gone, did Linkara need to pull out the guest bed for Linksano? Inquiring minds want to know. Again, thanks for being awesome. I love supporting your work. Best wishes, Carolyn Mercatanti. Uh, Sorry about the uh, last name confusion there. Uh, as for the living arrangements, uh, I try to keep it ambiguous as much as I can. Uh, 90s Kid might live with him. Snowflame does not. Dr. Linksano does not. Uh, Where does Dr. Linsingo live then? Uh, oh. He did live on Comicron 1. Now maybe oh. he lives in the guest bed. Ah. Uh, Harvey may or may not. Ninja Style Dancer does not. Uh, Bafo does not. Bafo actually lives in a much better place than us because he's so good with his money. Bafo's rich. Yep, Bafo's rich. The rich clown. Thank always, you for that. When I was younger, I always just thought it was like, you know, kind of like Hammer Space. Yeah. The apartment. Because there was a lot of things about your apartment we didn't see in the show. Yep. Anyway, so I opened this upside down, but this is from T Taylor Kimmins. Hmm. So we got Wolf Game. We got Armor Hunters, Harbinger. 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 Just Imagine Stan Lee creates the JLA. I think we have that already. And same for Just Imagine Stan Lee's Green Lantern. I think we have that already as well. Sorry. Son of Vulcan. Son of Vulcan. More Son of Vulcan. In fact, lots of Son of Vulcan. I, I, I remember hearing about Son of Vulcan. I've never actually read it before, but thank you for all those. There wasn't a letter. There's more. Uh, more. I opened it upside down accidentally. Oh, jeez. We got a chick track called The Long Trip. Oh, jeez. Oh, dear. The Long Trip. I remember reading this back when I went to church. Oh. Memories. Uh, we got American Gods. Nice. Ah, Neil Gaiman stuff. Unabridged. It's like an audiobook? I don't know. It's like bigger than. It says uh, a uh, yeah. It says uh, uh, Harper Audio on the back. So I'm assuming it's a it's an audio book. Yeah, it's it's cassette tapes of of Neil Gaiman's America got American Gods. Huh. Mm -hmm. I got a game there. We got Metal Hurlant Chronicles. Oh, it's a t it's a TV show. We got oh check out who we got in there. Hey, John Rhys Davies. Yeah. What are you doing there? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> and a bunch of. Bubble wrap! Bubble wrap. And a letter. And a letter. Why don't you read that while I start opening this next one? It's long, and my throat is getting weary. So is mine. But we'll. But we can get. Dear through. Mr. Lovehog, first off, belated congrats on your engagement. I've been. Um, don't read. Oh, I guess we don't read this. Uh. Oh. I've been a loyal fan since the Culling Full Parter, and I've been really digging your PO unboxing videos. You and the others have inspired me to start my own video series soon, i.e. around May because of college and the master's program. My YouTube name is Yeti in the Den, and my series will be an equal split between novel, manga, anime, 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 an
You, Mr. Walker, Mr. Jones, and others have been a big inspiration for me. As for what is enclosed, well, I have some good and some bad items for you. I have a few miscellaneous comics that are simply perfect for the chopping block. There is a small chick tract that I got from attending a cooking festival on Jekyll Island that either you or Vigo will appreciate. There's also the Neil Gaiman America Gods, American Gods audiobook and cassette tape, which I think you'll get a kick out of. You're just lucky I have a, 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 cassette, a cassette player, player in my car. <laughs> Finally, there is a miniseries I hope you will do one day, the five-issue miniseries about Son of Vulcan, one of the most underappreciated young heroes I've ever seen. As for any recommendations, I recommend you to read Air Cell's Silverstorm Run. Why don't you start opening that up while I read this? Uh, also, another bit here I'm not supposed to read. Someone I'm supposed to check out. Da -da 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 -da. Finally, I only have two questions. Have you considered a crossover with Crimson Rogue? I know the main issue is time constraints, but there is a phenomenon called Maximum Ride, which is a book series, a comic series by Marvel, and a piece of crap movie adaptation. I know the possibility is slim, but if possible, it would be awesome to see, see all collab. I don't actually remember uh, Crimson Rogue. I don't know who he is. Uh, if given the opportunity about Titan slash Teen Titans team, but you could only focus on the minor characters such as Pantha, Son of Vulcan, Minion, Skitter, Bombshell, etc., would you take up the challenge? And if so, what kind of story would you craft? I can't say uh, what kind of story I would craft on the off chance I do end up ever getting it, but I have ideas, and I would love to do that, focusing on a bunch of the minor Titans characters. Anyway, that's all for me. I hope you enjoy your comics and other stuff, and I eagerly await your future videos. Sincerely, Taylor Kimmins. Mm. Thank you. And by the way, we also got another child's play of course we did <laughs> like they always gotta send every single one mm -hmm. of an entire set i gave you one or two others over there I you can open them. where uh i think it became buried under the comics oh uh, there's another one off to the side oh actually that's uh that's an empty box. never mind you got that you got this oh this is heavy this is light yeah Oh, jeez. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting on a ball. Yep. <laughs> You're always sitting on balls. And... <laughs> so this is a letter from Robert something. His his name got taken out by some tape. Okay, start reading that while I open this. And, and if there's oh, no dear. letter in this, then I'll show off what we've got while we while the this letter is, is read. Okay, my name is Rob. I'm known as fanfiction.net as Rob of Eternal Fire. I used to be known on YouTube as Rekka007. I'm a fan of your work, especially History of Power Rangers, as well your primary show, Atop the Fourth Wall. Look forward to your show every Monday after work, and it's been a source of entertainment and joy through many hard months. Now, I'm going to summarize this, because this is like... Oh, God. This no, is no, like... we're going to switch this, because you need to do this, because... Holy crap. <laughs> this is so long. Oh, God, this is heavy. Uh, I started watching you through History of Power Rangers and graduated to watching your main show around 2014, I think. As such, some of my favorite episodes are your reviews of the stupid but awesome, including US-1, Brute Force, and Cosmic Slam. I've also enjoyed the good comics, like Just Imagine Stanley creating Batman, Steam Wars, the Steam... Oh my goodness, show that off. Uh, now this letter isn't attached to this box, though. Uh, there's probably a letter somewhere in there. Try to find that. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, box I'm opening is from Andrew... Blackburn. Blackburn, but finish your, your letter. Your storyline, though, is why I'm writing this. I know you have a magic gun, and your next main storyline will be the Contest of Champions, but that got me thinking. Since when do all champions need magic guns? They don't. Uh, just Jairus, you know, tended to focus on the ones that did. And for that matter, what would happen if they were separated from your gun in the middle of a fight? I figured you might need some more pieces to your arsenal of freedom, or props for your show. Therefore, I went ahead and drew up some blueprints for some melee weapons based on what I've seen on the History Channel show Forged in Fire. These are magic sword slash knives with very unique properties. Namely, they are forged uh, in show, mind you. <coughs> from a special metallic alloy that amplifies... And you want to show those off to people. Uh, based on the individual wielding the blade. For example, a nostalgic critic, if he used it, might be able to shoot fireballs from the weapon. Where, while if Angry Joe used the same weapon, it would be electrified and could fire concentrated shots of ball lightning. I figured you could have some fun coming up with all sorts of cool effects for the weapons, but I'll tell you about the... Uh, but I'm going to skip through these just because there's a lot of uh, uh, things here and I don't need to... These are weapons. Uh, there's a Kukri. The second weapon design is from Ancient Egypt! Dun, 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 dun. Uh, let's see, the final blade is the Japanese Wakazachi, uh, which is, in essence, a shortened katana. 
Uh, and I hope these designs can be of use to you, and even more, I look forward to seeing Dr. Linksano examine the material, as I think he'd find the alloy to be intriguing and puzzling. Give him a nice, fun project to exp explore every small detail of. Heck, he might even enjoy forge forging some more like them. Not to mention, the blades would likely baffle the mind of 90s kids, seeing as he loves guns so much. I wish you and Viga all the luck and prosperity in the future, mm. especially with your wedding. Thank may you. May your lives ever be filled with comics, sci-fi, ponies, and awesome anime. And so I'll close with how I end my fanfiction.net reviews. Let's burn. By Robert Dougherty, Rekka007, Rob of Eternal Fire. Thank you. Now in this next box from Andy Blackburn, he gave us a pillow. A pillow with a top of the fourth wall stitched across the front there. Really cute. Yeah. I have one of the, I have something similar to this already. I'll probably put this one on the uh, shelf. We got a bunch of books. Problem Sleuth. Oh, oh problem sleuth. I know this. This is Problem Sleuth. The, the Problem Sleuth is by the guy who did who made Homestuck. Problem Sleuth. Problem Sleuth. Oh, jeez. Problem Sleuth. Gee, I wonder if there's a theme. Homestuck. There we go. What volume of Homestuck? Volume three. Volume three. Homestuck. Homestuck. Yeah, a lot of people asking me to review Homestuck Volume Two again. I remind oh. people, Patreon sponsored. Homestuck Volume 2 got squished. It's all right. It's still good. It's still Homestuck. good. Homestuck. Homestuck Volume 2. Letter. And a letter. Oh, and we read this off real quick here. Dear Linkara and Vega. V-I-G-A. Vega. V-I-G-A. I'm glad I was able to get this in before you close the P.O. box. I'm the one who checked who uh, checked over Twitter to make sure you didn't have these already. I wanted to send them since in the Homestuck Act 1 review, you wanted to have the material on hand. Yeah, I, I was kind of interested in seeing how you turn the GIFs into uh, uh, you know printed form yeah, like I'm this. Gonna, I'm going to flip through this. Uh, that's Volume 2. Why don't you check Volume 1? Yeah, I'll just... I'm going to pick a van. Right uh, in addition to Homestuck, Acts 1 through 3, I also included the entirety of Problem Sleuth, just in case. I also decided to commission a pillow for your show from Roche, who does a variety of different crochet products. <laughs> Sweet bro and hella Jeff. Thank you for that. Sorry. Uh, yeah, but is, but is uh, 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 Zeus Smith Poop Lord in it? I don't know. I don't even know what that is. Look, I don't, I'm not into Homestuck. Yeah, neither am I, but I remember that. I just remember um, Squiddles and Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff. Look, Thank sorry, you. I don't have anything for Vega, though. Here's to more years of comic bashing to come. I hope you get to reviewing these books, Patreon sponsored or otherwise. And of course, this is a classic. I told you about. Sh show, show it to the camera. I warned you about stairs, bro. It keeps happening. I warned you about stairs. Fail there's, a, there's a great parody of this with me and Phalus. I warned <laughs> you about storylines, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Linkar and Hella Phalus. But thank you so much for these. <laughs> these are awesome. It's great to have these. And of course, always gotta love Crocheted Pillow. So thank you. And we got one last big box there, and I got another box over on my side. All right, this is from Sung Young Triffalt. Triffalt. Sorry if I say your name wrong. Sun Young. Let's so start opening this in anticipation because this is probably gonna be. We've got. How light is that? Oh, it's not that bad, but we got cotton. It's probably full of allergies and disease. All right, we got this ominous looking letter. Yeah, with uh, always gotta love the, the wax seal. Mind you, it, it kind of makes it difficult to open this one without ripping the paper. It's a it's a bunch of various things. All right, sorry, I'm ripping the paper because I can't get this open otherwise. There we go. Miss, dear Mr. and Mrs. Lovehog. Hello, hello from the City of Heroes, when he where heroes fly and monsters roam, where the forces of good and evil fight for the fate of the world. I have watched your adventures from the year of the end of the world, 2012, and for all that you have provided in entertainment, I bear gift for you all. For your beautiful wife-to-be, gifts from the magical land of the little ponies and the far-off land of the east. And for you, I gave you all that I own of the comic books and some representatives of the world of pocket monsters. And most important object that I possess, magic crystals. May they serve you well. With thanks, Song Song Young M. Trifolt. Thank you, Song Young. Thank you, Song Young. Let's uh, check out what we got here. You got plushies. Plushies. Ooh, an Ampharos plushie. Mega Ampharos, in fact. Yeah. Let's get all this cotton and stuff out of the way here. Yeah. Mega Ampharos, sweet. <laughs> Ampharos should have been a dragon type from the start. Yeah. But oh, thank wow. you. We got a parody of that uh, 
famous work with the construction workers on the beam. Let me see. With superheroes. Nice. <laughs> you know, the one problem with this is, this is the problem with every single Ampharos plushie I've ever had. Its head is always so top-heavy for some reason. Got some cool art here. <laughs> Times Square. Yeah. Stuff for the wall. Got uh, Pokemon XY trading cards. Oh, it's actually not trading cards. It's little. It's like uh, keychains, it looks like. Oh, God. Do you have a dog? Because I feel like I'm getting a skin something from this cotton. Ugh. Magic Chris. Oh! Haha. <laughs> Oh, it's bismuth. It's bismuth. Bunch of bismuth Time in here. Time to get down to bismuth. Yep, bismuth grown in Germany. Oh, cool. It kind of fell out of all the little tiny containers it's supposed to be inside of. <laughs> Thank you for the bismuth. Hmm. I hope we're not allergic to this stuff. What, bismuth? Yeah. Bismuth? Hmm. I hope that's not what I'm, my skin's feeling hot from. That's probably from the, from the cotton. There's an amethyst here. An actual amethyst! Oh my god! Cosplay. <laughs> uh, why don't you open up the other tiny boxes? Polished garnet. Ooh. Whoa, check this out. It looks like a D20. I'm just gonna make a uh, wild guess here. This is a pearl. Or at least a material no. made from pearl. That doesn't look like a pearl. It doesn't look really like a pearl because pearls are usually round, but I wonder if the material is. Uh, uh, made from it. Let me see if there's a written thing. Nope, there's no thing written here. That's definitely not a pearl. And what is it? Pearls are round. I know, pearls are usually round, but I wonder if they could they could take the material and make something else out of it. Not a rose quartz. Yeah. Alright. But whatever, thank you so much for these. What else we got in there? I see you have some DVDs for a thing that actually I think is pretty cool. Magic Knight Rayer! Woo! I never watched it when I was younger, but I knew a lot of friends who were fans of it. Yay, rocks! Here's some more cotton. More cotton. Let's get this out of here. It's a... Oh, was a dog tag. Oh, here it is. MLP dog tags! Excelsior! Where's this from again? I know we got one in the mail before. Uh, I'm not sure what's written on I the like box. Flags. It is from... Nope. It's from, from New York. <laughs> It's a, it's a New York flag. I, I have declared it. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, I like these scarves. Yeah, and more uh, crystals. Uh, these are probably poisonous. <laughs> Wait, really? Some rocks are poisonous. Some, some gemstones are poisonous. But mind you, if he wrapped them up in this, they're probably safe. Oh, I hope they're not poisonous or else we're going to die and we know who did it. Yep. We know who did it. We said the name. More stones. Is that a rose quartz? Maybe. It might be a smoky quartz. Also, Happy Meal, McDonald's, uh, Apple Jack. Wow, I had this, I have this Apple Jack already from, uh, the little McDonald's meals. I have this Apple Jack. Pony Thank wedding you. set. Is that a pony wedding? Oh my god, yes. Yeah. Uh, Batman Detective Comics, Executioner Song, Part 5. Heroes Return to Fantastic Four. Battle Chasers. Yeah. yeah. Ant. Venom. Funeral Pyre. Maximum Carnage, Part 6 of 14. Tons of Pokemon cards. Ooh, which, which ones do we have in the Pokemon cards? Substrika. Lilligant. Kingdra. Staraptor. Flareon EX. And Don Fan, a.k.a. all the members of the Pokemon Omicron team. <laughs> also, we have Venom Lethal Protector and Spectacular Spider-Man Identity Crisis. We also got some more stuff. Some, uh, more rocks. Oh, this is a pearl. Ah, very tiny pearl. Yeah, there's a little note in here. Probably explaining the various gems. Oh, yes, they came out the thing. We got a Rose Quartz, Pearl, Red Jasper, Jasper. Lapis Lazuli, White Opal, Sardonyx, and Malachite. Nice! So basically we got all the crystal gems. Now I do wonder... Oh, this is one of the dog tags. Ah! I do wonder, in the Steven Universe universe, do, do they have people who wear jewelry with gemstones? And what would the gems' reactions to it be? <laughs> I know there's lots of fan comics with answers to this, but I want an official answer. Does jewelry... As it does in our universe, ex exist in that universe. You never see anyone being like, oh, I, here's my wedding, di my diamond engagement ring or shit like that. 
I know that, uh, uh, I think Greg wears, uh, uh, earrings, doesn't he? Yeah, but they're, no. Not, not since the Steven bomb, obviously. Hmm. No, I think he wore some beforehand, though. Yeah, but they, did ha they didn't have stones in them. Huh. Anyway, yes, this is a rose quartz. Ah. Wow. Neat. All right, well, thank you very much for all those. That's, that's a lot, big collection of stuff there. But everything must come to an end, and uh, here's our final box for this PO unboxing from Mitchell Martinez with this letter. Ooh. Dear Lewis, well, here it is, the sixth package of comics I have sent you. I think I may have a problem. Well, to be fair, I told myself that package number five would be my last package, but that last one ended up being on the Lost P.O. Unboxing episode. Speaking of which, any chance Vega is familiar with the anime Project Project Aiko? I own it. Since I included the Malibu comics that adapted that movie. I'm just curious if she or you had heard the anime since I believe Sage did a review of it. Yes. Yes, yes, I know all about this. It's a series of films about the daughter of Superman and Wonder Woman. Don't believe me? Watch the first film. Okay, here's my question in regards to that. Do they actually say, I'm Superman and I'm Wonder Woman? They just show them. Yeah, do they actually show them with, like, the S and everything like that? No, they show them in their civilian forms. Yeah, that's the thing. It's 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 a cute little homage, but please stop telling me, oh, it's totally Superman and Wonder Woman. Unless it's actually licensed, they're just XPs. Yeah. It's, it's, it's they just... They show their civilian forms. It's just... I think, that, I think so, yeah. People keep getting so excited to tell me that, but it's not. And plus, it's an anime that's, like, over... What, maybe 30 years old by now? Mm. Everyone knows. Well, anyway, I don't want to drown you in comics, so hopefully this will indeed be my last package, especially considering how many books are in there. Also included a flash drive that, that includes PDF copies of actual Beetleborgs comics. Hmm. I'd honestly thought that the only Beetleborgs books were the props used in the show, but here I found three real comics, and of course the crossover issue with Power Rangers Turbo, which I have already. I apologize that I was unable to find physical copies. I searched high and low, but it appears those little slices of the 90s have been mostly lost to time. So live long and prosper, may the power protect you, and congratulations on your engagement. Vega seems like a very lovely woman. Aww, she thank is. You. Your fan, Mitchell Martinez, mm -hmm. also known as Sonic Stance in the comment section. Mm -hmm. And there's a uh, abandon all sanity, ye who read these books. Let's, uh, Let's that see what after we the... got. So here, what do we got? We got rainbow duct tape. Duct tape! Woo! -hoo. For all your duct tape and needs. Rainbow yeah. duct tape! Yeah. The best kind of duct tape is rainbow duct tape. Let's just uh, go through these real quick. Hi. Lois Lane. My death by Lois Lane. Superman in action. The Mask, the official movie adaptation. Batman Beyond, the Return of Joker comic adaptation. Mutant X. Dead clowns, as all clowns should be. Yep, yep. Phantom Force. More dead clown. Phantom 2040. More dead clown. Power and glory. Dynamo Joe Special. Frank Miller's Robocop. Bio Booster Armor, Giver. Speedball, the masked Marvel. Superman Girlfriends, Lois Lane, and Mother of Project a of Aiko. Ultraverse, the Strangers. Uh, Aiko as a baby, it looks like. <laughs> Green Lantern, Dark Stars, Legion, Trinity, with hollow foil cover. Lois Lane, 80 page giant. Ultraman, Taiga. Superman lo Girlfriend, Lois Lane, doing stuff. Uncanny X-Men number one. Fan service of Superman girlfriend Lois Lane. Uncanny X-Men 245 featuring guest penciler Rob Liefeld. Air. This thing. What is this? X-Men spelled with swords. And finally, X-Men Noir. I think that's enough for this episode. I don't think there's anything else we forgot to open. Anything on your side? I don't know that I can read. Yeah. I think I can see anyway. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it for this time around. Two hours, not too bad. Mm. So thank you all for watching. And, thank you. And we got to figure out where, how, where the hell we're going to put all this crap. Well, I know where to put this. To your face. <sighs> thank you. <laughs>